Good day, Enshrouded Gamers. Today, I am the bringer of good news regarding Enshrouded, coming directly from the developers at Keen Games. Our voices have been heard, and Enshrouded is gearing up for some major updates, putting more control in our hands as the players. So let's dive right into the details. Their Discord post, that's where I got this info, starts with this. Hi everyone, we've received feedback from players about the quest progression of Enshrouded. Many of you are frustrated with the fact that this is currently mainly server side instead of player side. We have some good news to share. This is followed by a more detailed breakdown of how they plan to approach development moving forward, but here's a TLDR. Essentially, following an outpouring of player feedback around the current quest progression system, the developers have acknowledged our frustrations around it being primarily server side, meaning that all quests are completed once per world and not per player. The team understands that completing quests while one or more players might be offline might not sit well with those seeking to experience every drop of what Enshrouded has to offer. To be fair to the devs, Enshrouded was originally envisioned as a co-op game, encouraging friends to embark on a shared journey. From sharing bases and resources to crafting recipes and loot, it was all about communal exploration. Here's a quote explaining that vision. We developed a game environment where a new player could join a long running server and jump into the same action as their friends, skipping the quote unquote tutorial server quests to instead learn through conversation and cooperation, uniting the group. All of that said, however, the team recognizes the diversity of the player base and is committed to providing options for everyone. Now with that commitment in mind, the developers are actively working on new features to give players more control over their own individualized quest progression. Here's a sneak peek at the three big changes in the pipeline regarding questing. First, we have personal quest completion, meaning that in the near future, players will have the option to personally complete every quest, ensuring a more individualized gaming experience. Secondly, they are improving the quest log. To minimize confusion moving forward, the quest log is getting a facelift to clearly communicate the status of each quest's progression in terms of both server versus personal progression. And lastly, they have reduced respawn timers on key objectives and bosses around the map. This is actually already in effect, meaning that respawn timers have already been reduced down to 30 minutes, allowing players to face bosses and conquer shroud routes more frequently. Now, while these exciting changes are on their way, the developers did also emphasize that their current system won't be entirely replaced. The main goal is to offer players additional options to tailor their enshrouded experience. With all of this work ahead of them, an exact timeline for these improvements though is yet to be announced. In addition to the individualized questing progression, they also touched on a couple of feature fixes related to group adventures, so that these mechanics that were already implemented in the game are now fixed and fully functional. For instance, playing together with your friends and taking on bosses as a group now boosts the chances of bosses and loot chests, offering your party bonus loot. Additionally, enemy strength scales dynamically with group size, keeping group play both rewarding and challenging. The team over at Keen are already eyeing further improvements as well, including server rights management and the potential for your NPCs, such as the blacksmith, hunter, farmer, etc., to be available in every individual base around your world. As the world of Enshrouded expands along with its fans, the team expresses immense gratitude to the community's support and detailed feedback, stating, Enshrouded has already grown so much bigger than our team could have possibly dreamed of, and we are beyond excited to continue to shape and grow the world of Embervale into the best game it can be. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you, and please keep the feedback coming. So there you have it, the latest Enshrouded developments directly from the developer's desk. I hope you liked the video and have been enjoying Enshrouded as much as I have been. Comment down below what you think of these updates and what you're most looking forward to, or even something else you'd like to see the developers implement. Stay tuned for more updates as Enshrouded continues to evolve, and more videos covering all you need to know about the mysterious world of Ember Vale. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and happy gaming.